What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a very quick video, sort of back in the old style of how I used to do openings. We're going to crack open a few of these mystery packs. Uh, these are from CVS, believe it or not. I've never seen them anywhere else. I don't know if they're CVS exclusive, but that's where I found them. And they're actually 10 bucks each, which is not something I recommend. I was able to get them because I had a CVS coupon and like some extra bucks rewards, so I ended up paying like a dollar each for them, and I was like, these could actually be kind of interesting to open just to like do a little bit of a see what kind of thing we get now this is uh mj holding so of course you know they're they used to do really good mystery boxes back in the day nowadays not so much um although i guess the Yu-Gi-Oh products they do are okay i have to say i did like the chaos boxes for magic and you know they weren't badly priced but ten dollars each on these is very steep it says uh chase pack seated one in five meaning so ideally every five you open you get a chase pack but i don't know what that defines i mean masters 25 is on the cover that's really the only thing it shows um but i guess we're gonna just see what's there and see how it goes so if you guys do enjoy the video please hit the like button and if you want to subscribe to the channel click that subscribe button click the bell icon to stay notified when new videos are posted um i don't post openings all the time but i like to do them sometimes because they're kind of fun and hopefully at some point you know we'll be able to do like some more um you know unique or cooler openings but Let's get into it and put that off to the side for right now. So yeah, it's one set booster and two promo cards. So I guess there is at least that chance of a list hit. So they do a good old job covering that up. Wow, wait, really? I As I sit here shit-talking these. Wow, okay. Iconic Masters, that's insane. I That's got to be luck because I definitely did not see that coming. Um, All right, <laughs> well... We've got Iconic Masters, and then Koga the Titan Ape, actually a really cool um, promo card, and then uh, Gargos the Vicious Watcher. I did not expect that. That was a very big surprise um, for that first one. Let's open the second one here and see. Iconic Masters, a really cool set. I don't think it's like crazy value or anything, but still. And then we've got Dungeons and Dragons Adventures and the Forgotten Realms set booster. Not bad. What the hell? Wait a minute. Wait. Really? This isn't even... A, is this a promo? I don't know. This is just an Oko the Trickster. O okay. I don't think this is the expensive one. But still, that's kind of cool. I Maybe he was a promo and I just don't know. I, I still don't recommend these at 10 bucks, But I guess if you have if your CVS sells them and you have coupons and you can like, maneuver your way into some better deals, it's not the worst thing ever so far. But this is also a small sample size. Another iconic... Wait, wait. Are you kidding how what all right this is not a good case study size for what you're getting here these this is one of the most busted three pack openings that i've ever seen and those are the same promos do not use this as the basis for which to buy these packs please because i don't think that happens often i know this isn't like the most expensive pack in the world but it's also not the cheapest pack in the world um i think an actual pack of iconic masters goes for about $15, so it's not bad. You're actually getting more than you're spending. And the biggest hit in this is Avacyn, Mana Drain, Fluster Storm. So there's a lot of really good hits. So let's, I guess let's crack these open and see what we get. All right, so we're going to start off with the D&D set booster. I'll be honest, I don't know what's big in this set. I guess Old Gnawbone is pretty good, so that's probably what I'm looking for. Um, or some of the lands aren't bad either. That's a really cool art of the Blue Dragon. So, all right, we've got a Plains, Celestial Unicorn, Thieves Tools, Wan T Fang Blade, Shortcut Seeker, Power of Persuasion, Feywild Trickster, Trickster's Talisman, you happen on a glade. And then a rare Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Kind of cool. And a Mythic Inferno of the Star Mounts. Actually a cool card. Not a bad pack overall. I always forget the set. Wait a minute. Oh, right. It's a set booster, so it can have multiple rares. That's not bad. Inferno of the Star Mounts is really cool. I think this has a cool, um, like, extended art uh, treatment as well. Not a bad dragon in general. And then uh, Werewolf Pack Leader is a pretty cool card. That was a good pack. I am very, very surprised by the results that we're getting out of these uh, these mystery packs. And again, I just want to reiterate again, like this is probably not the standard um, that you would expect uh, for that because holy shit, that is absolutely wild. So 
Let's go and open these iconic masters. I don't know if there's any pack trick to these. I, I've really only ever opened like one or two of this set, but let's let's just jump into it and see. Vent Sentinel, Infantry Veteran, Thought Scour, Mark of Mutiny, Nantuko Shaman, Balustrade Spy, Jesse and Thief, Dark Steel Axe, Eternal Thirst, Thrill Kill Assassin, Cephalid Broker. And Bubbling Cauldron. No, not. I thought that was a food card. So this should, rare should be next. Nope, it's not. Sarah Angel, though. Pretty cool card. Emiria Angel is our rare. Um, I don't think that's crazy. Ancestral Vision. That's a foil rare. Again, though, no idea if it's worth anything or not. I'll have to put the value up on the screen because I honestly have no clue. I don't think Emiria Angel is, but it's still a cool card. Um... I'm just still shocked by the actual packs here. Like, what were the odds of that? One in five, so out of three packs? Like, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. But only open these at your own risk. I just, I need to stress that as many times as possible. Uh, Thought Scour. Actually, not bad. Vent Sentinel. Benevolent Ancestor. Ivy Elemental. Balustrade Spy. Duress. Good old Duress. Uh, Pillar of Flame. Shimmering Grotto. Enoch Bond Kin, Star Compass, Sandstone Oracle, uh, Lightning Helix. This was actually a really good rare for a while. I'm uh, uh, sorry, really good value for a while. And our rare should be next. It is not Gruel Turf. And our rare should be next. Kiga the or Kega the Tide Star. Not a clue about the value. I don't know if it's good or bad. I know it's one of the original Kamigawa Dragons and a tormenting voice foil. So. I don't think that the value out of these packs was insane unless I'm wrong about Ancestral Vision. I'll have to double check on those because I don't really see them showing up on the list that I was consulting as we went through, but that doesn't mean that the foil variant doesn't have any value. Uh, but that was really cool. So let me know what you guys thought of the video. Uh, if you do end up opening any of these, let me know. But again, just proceed with caution. They are really overpriced. I just got very lucky with a combination of coupons and apparently, you know, having a horseshoe shoved up my ass. But thank you guys for checking out the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.